Comrades Marathon champion De Didijana is back on the road, this time taking part in the annual Fortress Running Series. The four-legged series begins in Venda, Limpopo, tomorrow, and it concludes in Klerksdorp, northwest, in November. It's led by renowned athletes Israel Morake, who won the 1992 Two Oceans Marathon, as well as 1996 Olympic silver medalist Ezekiel Sepeng. Participants can get involved in the 5km, 10km, and 21.1km runs, and all the finishers will receive medals. The total prize pool up for grabs for the 21.1 and 10 kilometers is 38,700 38, rands. Joining me now from Venda is Dede Dijan, who will of course be competing in it as well tomorrow. Dede, good morning to you. Thank you so much for your time. Just a month ago, you were running the ultra marathon, 89.7 kilometers, and now you're running something a whole lot shorter, more than uh, less than half, in fact, of what you would originally be running. How do you switch between... 89 kilometers and 21. Uh, good morning, good morning, and thanks for, for having me. Um, for me to, to, to go in that road, um, it's part of recovery uh, as well. And, um, but the, uh, the aim is not to, to, to compete. No, I'm, I'm not here to compete. Um, it's to inspire and encourage young young people here in, in Venda. So what you're basically then saying that is that Antlentle, you're not going there to win this particular event. You're just going there to show them that, you know, there are runners like yourself who can start in an event like Fortress Running Series and go all the way to win a Comrades Marathon. Is, is that your goal with uh, competing in this? Yes, yes, because it's where we, we have started. We have started running pin one and 10 kilometers, uh, graduating to 42s. So they should start here. So I'm not here to compete, as, as I said. So I need to encourage them to, to take the care. Uh, if, if I manage to, to do it, they can, they can do it. Mm. So for you, I, th I know you mentioned that it's just to basically, it's, it's almost like a, a, a cool down, you know, so your, your ultra marathon and, and, and preparing for the ultra marathon was a warm up. And now you're trying to cool down to get the body back, you know, into its regular uh, fitness. So what exactly are you hoping to achieve with uh, taking part in this? What do you, what do you want to do? Are you trying to get your body to, to regulate and get back to its usual, uh, usual self? No, I've already started to train for, for, Cape Town Marathon. Mm. So, but um, for I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't win. Uh, yeah, mm. I can't win because uh, for me, it's I can say it's 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 how I, I will encourage the young people because I cannot come all all along from asking and win um, this smaller amount. Mm. Uh, where someone is, is is in need of that, mm. see. So that's why that's how I will encourage them. And I and I appreciate that you're talking about encouragement. I love that you're talking about encouragement, Dede, because you are a two-time Comrades winner. You are the record holder now for the down run on the men's side. They're going to be looking at you, the guys that are taking part in 21, and thinking that, will we ever make it there? You know, Just talk to me about what life has been like for you since the Comrades Marathon a month ago. I can imagine the last month has been quite intense. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants to understand how did you do it. What, is, what has things been like for you since that amazing race on the 11th of June? Oh, um, I've been busy since ever. Even now, you can see since yeah. since I'm here, I've been busy. It's, it's my it's part of my life since from the 11th. I've been going up and down, traveling all over South Africa, oh. getting invites. Um, as I said, I've been traveling. That, that's part of my life now. Even I'm, when I'm I, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not going to work the way I'm supposed to go. Mm. Um, I will go two days, three days, then ask lifts, and then they, fortunately, they will give me a, a, a lift, a lift, yeah. Mm. So that's part of my life, traveling, in the, in the, in invitations, and, and so, see. How are your preparations for Cape Town Marathon going? You said that's your next focus now. How are your preparations? How are you prepare, uh, preparing? What are you doing? Uh, so far, still doing the build-ups. 
what what kind so of build-ups exactly? Yet, Just talk talk to us about the process. Talk to us about um, the kinds of the, the training, like in, in terms of and how how long do you do you run? What kind of kilo? How many kilometers do you get in in a normal day? How many days in a week do you even train? Uh, for 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 marathon, I can say it's, it can be 120 or more or less, uh, depending during the week what I'm, am I doing during the week. But my longest uh, long run, I can say it can be uh, 45 kilos, my longest. But uh, during the week, during the week, I will be doing maybe 30 Ks, 20 Ks, mm. uh, like weekdays on Wednesdays, yes. Do you think you can win this Cape Town Marathon, Dete? Because, I mean, again, I say, you know when you compare other marathons, you're running 42. Comrades Marathon is a whole 89.7 kilometers. It requires you to be in a different level of fitness. It requires a different uh, a sense of mentality. Do you think you have what it takes for the Cape Town Marathon? No, I cannot say, but I'm going there for the time, not to win. Um, I will be focusing on having a better marathons in my legs. All right, uh, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. And I know you say that you're not going to be competing out in Venda. Yours is just to inspire everybody that's going to be there. But I hope you have yourself uh, a great run out in Venda, of course, as you take on the Fortress uh, running series. That is the two-time Comrades Marathon champion, Dede Dijana. He's out in Venda uh, this weekend, of course, for the opener of the Fortress running series. It's going to be concluding on the 19th of November in uh, Klerksdorp in the Northwest.